Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in. Let us learn from number two of this Kyoten, words for not turning into yokai, and a quote. Do not think of the world that makes us compete for superiority as merely evil, but rather as a soul training to become a decent human being in this world. Thank you very much. So competing for superiority, I can tr retranslate this as a, a, a society of competition, a society of competition. So do not think that the society that makes us compete as merely evil it's not only that, but think of it as if it's a soul training for our souls, uh, for, for human beings to become a decent person. All right, I don't know if I can explain this in three to four minutes, but um, yokai tendency is what I've been talking about in yesterday's video and two videos ago, um, two days ago, was about self-centeredness and people who are focused on their own self-achievements only, not thinking about others' happiness or others' success. But here, this one, mm, I think it's more about Another part of yokiness is actually laziness, and also another part of yokiness, yokiness, I'm coining a term, but another, uh, you know, tendency of a yokiness is um, they don't make efforts. Uh, they hate making efforts. They hate tangible, like, uh, they hate actual process or perseverance or persistence or, you know, endeavoring um, in... Um, these, these sort of like uh, process that takes time and they want to cut corners and cheat and they just want the results as quickly as possible and as easy as possible. That's the yokiness mentality. So it's about cheating and cutting corners. Now, going back to today's sentence, if you start feeling that society is evil, where it makes us compete, it's so bad that we get a grade. We are graded for our test scores. It's bad for students in a, in, you know, in a race um, to have different, like, first place, second place, third place, fourth place, different places, um, different results. That's, that's, that's cruel for these children. That kind of mentality of seeking equal results can end up in yokiness, is what he's saying. And again, why? Because if you start blaming society, if you start blaming others, when you start playing the blame game and pointing fingers at others, what happens is you can justify yourself for your lack of responsibility or for your lack of um, enough, making enough efforts, right? So it, it turns into this entitlement syndrome where you feel entitled of everything, although you're not producing anything for society or you're not, it's not reciprocal. You're not, you're not giving anything back. And, you know, give and take is still a very shallow level, but at least you're still giving instead of taking. But you got to be careful. If you have this mentality, this yokai mentality, thinking that the society that makes us compete is so purely evil and you start justifying your own philosophy uh, like a socialist and a communist, what happens is, again, you don't even give whatsoever. You just end up taking, 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 and expecting, expecting, expecting. And not only that, you start playing the, um, not the blame game, but also the, uh, the victim card. You're always the victim. The victim mentality becomes a social justice mentality. And although this victim mentality is very toxic and poisonous for your soul, for your own soul, it also causes harm to other people. And again, all of this is actually connected to yokiness, is what Master is teaching us. And again, why? It goes back to yokais are lazy. They'd rather not change themselves, but they, not pray, but they want others to change for them. Going back to yesterday's sentence, right? You think you're the center of the world. So it's, this is coming out not in a form of like, in a toxic, self-indulged, um, selfish, you know, achievement-oriented mindset. But this is now showing in a form of laziness and the justification of what comes with laziness is also jealousy. So uh, these are the thoughts that went through my mind. Uh, let's try to apply it to ourselves for self-reflection. Those are my thoughts. Please leave your thoughts in the comment section. And see you again tomorrow. Bye.